name of the program internally we always gave a cool name was cafe clean affordable fun easy to use and i think the design and engineering team have, have come out with the product would deliver on any of those uh, promises and like you said there is not much risk for someone to buy a cafe at $6,500, use it two years and resell it, I hope $5,000 two years after. And that's why I believe all of this uh, is, is very appealing for a, a very large audience. But there was a risk. If you go back two years ago, again, when we tried to prototype where the hall and all the architecture was in fiberglass, we didn't know how you would react to plastic. So far it seems that it's very well received. And personally, I find it different, refreshing, cool, 100% uh, re re recyclable. But we didn't know. Uh, then it's all the hard work that is the outcome. But uh, there was some risk at the beginning. The, the, the watercraft industry have reached in North America, in US, about 200,000 units in 1997, 98. I remember that year, because again I was in procurement, we produced 116,000 units in Vancouver for the world, North America and international. And I believe the number could be big. And for me, when I see a family, because you have the one plus one, you have the two plus one, today you have two power pack uh, possibilities. You could have it without IVR, with IVR. That's why I'm saying a family. But for sure, like we've done with all the other platforms, we can elaborate more model from those two base platforms. Mm -hmm. But uh, if uh, we're as successful as believe, we believe we will be, there is many other things we could do from that uh, concept. Do you have a rough sales volume that you'd like to achieve? Yeah, I won't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> if it's as successful as we believe, I mean, we again could recreate a totally new family, a broader family of product, but we're rebuilding it from the base. Could, uh, you could think in the future more longer watercraft, longer spark, but you need to be careful not to fall in the trap to replicate a GTI also. I mean, what's, what is interesting about the product is the value proposition. You know, you have a lot for the money. Here, what we do, we have an allocation for every dealer worldwide. Then we have defined a plan where a dealer will come out. We we'll say you have 20 Spark or 25 Spark, whatever. And he can give us his wish list. And we'll see how the product catch up and how the product retail and we'll adjust production. Because again, we need to make sure we, we, we build a solid foundation. Uh, for uh, for the business. In terms of demographic, the focus was family or couples uh, 25 to 35 years old, an income of $90,000. That was the demographic, and, uh, which is quite different than our <coughs> customer today. Then we're trying to bring a younger crowd to the watercraft business. The four words was cafe clean, affordable, fun, easy to use. And for me the weight and I mean I think when they, they show you the the cat the spark for the first time, they were coming from the, the lake and four guys did put a unit on the trailer. That's how they introduce it to you. And that was the idea to make you realize that cafe is light. This engine is already on the snowmobile, the nine hundred CC we introduced last year. Now it's in the spark and this engine will hand in other product line one day. And for us, uh, one of our job uh, is to try to have as much commonality and use as many. You know we have a parts bin and if you use an existing <coughs> engine, it's less costly than developing a new engine. Then we decided to put the, uh, the because on, this, on the watercraft uh, you, need a good, you need a good torque, you know, to to plane quickly, and we felt that this engine was perfect for the application. And we took an engine that was already in a snowmobile and applied it to, to watercraft. If we had re, re designed a two-stroke E-Tech, it would be a new engine, from, a new design from scratch, and we decided not to go there.
it's not impossible, but we decided to use what we had, which has, I would prefer to give you a more, uh, but that's a, a simple, I mean, decision to make. We don't believe that many people, I mean, you specialists like you, understand the difference between a two-stroke and a four-stroke, but many people don't even understand the difference. We, we revamped all our factories since 2005. Uh, if you come to Valcour, if you go to Rovadimi, if you go in URI, so if you go in Kiritaro, it's exactly the same conveyor, exactly the same type of assembly line. Then it's just exactly, the, to be honest, the process that we have in URI and Kiritaro is the same process than we have in Valcour. And exactly the same thing. So does it run down the line or? <coughs> run down the line. Uh -huh. Assembly line. And what we like a lot about uh, this product is very easy to disassemble. You know, we have all the bolt. You, we don't, we didn't use glue to fix the the deck on the hull like we do on the other one. The the design team found a way, engineering found a way to have a very easy to disassemble product. You could change color in 40 minutes. And I really, we really, really count on your collaboration that all of us together will make a difference to to create a cool. Uh, cool product again and, and make more fun in the industry then. Uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, let's make it happen. Thank you.